Hey guys, back into SnowRunner we go. I have not had to uh, deliver logs in a Mud Runner game since the original. So this is kind of cool. Wonder how it's going to go. Uh, I have to decide because we have two destinations for these uh, long logs: um, the quarry or the drilling site. I don't know uh, which one to which one to go for first. I think the quarry is going to be more difficult, right? I guess first things first, we're going to get over to uh, Smithville Dam. And we'll, we'll analyze it from there. I'm sort of driving an autopilot for a moment. Uh, we're just in Black River, of course. On the, the uh, well-known roads. Bringing back some memories of just a few months ago when I spent a lot of time in here like everybody does I uh, am yeah, uh, first log delivery I've done in the game and they started me off with a big one never mind the short logs or the medium logs they're going right for the long ones I actually forgot to get fuel back on at the fuel station uh, but I guess there's one coming right up here okay I'll have to remember to uh, pull in there we got the white western star. About as upgraded as I can get it. So it should have more than enough power to deliver this, I would hope. I think it's just uh, maneuvering. So maybe we will try the quarry. And see, maybe it's going to be uh, kind to us and let us drop it off at the top. <laughs> Highly doubted, of course. And make us go all the way down in. But I. Going with gravity is going to be easier than against, of course. So I wonder how uh, we'll do. Alright. Just approaching the fuel station everyone knows and loves. Sometimes these uh, signs damage the truck. And we got a tree. We got tons of weight. There we go. No problem at all. I remember that giving me issue some vehicles. So yeah, just a standard trucking job today. Fuel station, free fuel. There we go. Quick. Oh, I gotta keep talking so the music doesn't catch. <laughs> there we go. I uh, uploaded the other ones and didn't seem to have any issue with the music there, so that was good. All right. In the Black River we go. Welcome sign. Go flying through here. That looks like no one's really returned to the town. I guess there's a couple cars parked in the driveway, and there's that classic dog barking. Anyways, hope everyone's doing well. Having fun in Snow Runner in your own game. I know pretty much everyone who watches these comments is well more experienced than I am in the game, but that's okay. Keeps it interesting anyways. I get to hear a lot of different opinions on how to do things and well actually a lot of them are quite similar really. There's a few differences in some of the comments I see. Uh, the recent video, it went on time. I've changed the day that they pop out. It used to be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Now they're taking over on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Come on now. Too heavy, I guess, for it. I could go in high gear, but we'll just... Oh, yeah, he keeps shifting down. Wait, what's going on here? He's just straight out of power. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> right? Or... Okay, it's just straight too heavy for him. For the first gear, anyways, for uh, the automatic. Oh, that's interesting. How about a uh, high gear? No, hey, you need to be in low. Well, I, I haven't encountered that yet in this game. 
where the, the weight was too much for a hill. Just on pavement. That's the first. We go back to automatic now. Or we got this other hill is gonna get me. Or we're going to high gear, maybe that'll keep us rolling. Yeah, I haven't had a truck get stumped yet. Like that. That's kinda cool. Makes sense. These things would weigh I'm not even sure how much they would weigh all together. Let me see now. I don't know. Several tons anyways. <laughs> I don't really know. Heavy. Uh, what was I saying there? Yeah, I changed the time. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, we'll see how that sets. The uh, the one video I did two videos ago, so that would land on Monday. Yeah, it didn't, didn't get the reach the other ones did. Yeah, I never get a ton of views on them, but that's okay. I got a dedicated group that seems to enjoy watching them uh, but it came out at a weird time I was moving it to Monday and I forgot where I said it and it came out about it came out in the afternoon on Monday so I think it didn't come out in the normal time so through through the scheduled algorithm off I guess back to high gear All right, made it there. So it'll just be a moment. And we'll pop over to the next map. Okay, so neither of these uh, looks too easy, really. I think I'll, I think I'll try the quarry. Do the quarry. I'm not even sure how to do the drilling site one. Like, how do you move these logs through here? Do you go up? the log station and try and go through here. Oh my. I remember going through here. That's no good. But you can't do logs through here though. I know some, I, I took the beach once. Not with logs though. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's going to be messy. Any other routes? Oh, is this the route you're supposed to take? You can go up here and swing around like this? Maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Hmm, alright, I'll try to remember that for next time, because I think I'm going to try the quarry. So once I get down there, because the route there... ...is, uh, easy enough. Got a few hills to climb and whatnot. We'll see how we do with the old quarry, the famous Michigan quarry of SnowRunner. We'll see how we do in this hill as well. Let's see if it runs out of runs out of steam again. So maybe go into high gear right now, or that slowed me down. No, that's okay. So I think that's the goal of this episode. We'll go to the quarry, hopefully get it successfully delivered. I mean, if all goes well, I'll deliver it. And then... I guess just recover the truck. I haven't I haven't gotten used to uh, re being able to recover vehicles again. <laughs> used to do it all the time, right? And then you, you head down to Island Lake. And then you cannot... Uh, recover them anymore, so you sort of get used to not recovering them. Sure, it certainly speeds things up, though. I mean, yeah, once I get them down in the quarry, I suppose I could try and get that trailer out of there. I've been meaning to try that again. Maybe we can have some fun with that. That's assuming I get there and down there without making my own missions. And by that, I mean rolling the trailer or upsetting everything. I wonder if it's like the uh, uh, first game. If you upset the logs, they all fall out. But then you can go with a crane and pick them back up. And I think in that one you had to load, you know, only like three logs and then it would count for the whole thing. Can't really remember. I wonder if it's like that in this game. 
let's uh, hopefully I don't have to try it. <laughs> All right, here's a classic farm. Nice little road here. We're having some trouble. High gear, maybe? I don't really have to conserve on fuel, though. I could just go all-wheel drive. <clears throat> I, mean, I get so used to having to conserve fuel and not recover the vehicles. I've started to uh, plan that way. Whereas when you start the game, you just basically plan on recovering the vehicle all the time. I'm going to have to start using this stuff, too. Over in... Uh, is it Dermon Island or something? Because I'm not going to have any use for it after... Or soon, anyways. But I have them out in spots where they're ready to go. Alright, here's the famous dam. I'll take it kind of slow, because... I've done this before, where I take the corn too, or corner too fast and the uh, trailer pushes you right into the side. Not much damage on the truck right now, so... I don't know what to make of the big uh, snorkel. <laughs> it's... It's very fancy looking, but... Massive. It kinda is the focus of the truck now. Or it ca catches your eye. Oh well. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Let's hit this going full speed. There we go. Live on the wild side. Oh, we're going to be shifting down here. Yep, there it goes. High gear, maybe? But I've had these little signs damage the truck, too, before. It seems anyways, as soon as the truck is raised, it doesn't take all... It doesn't take as much funny damage as it would if it was lowered. By funny damage, I mean people have been telling me that the damage is kind of random sometimes, or it doesn't make sense. Uh, is this the quarry turn? Yes, it is, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, hmm. So we're here. After a bit of a chat. I should maybe came from the other direction, but I couldn't really. We're going to want to go wider, though. I think. We're going to turn all-wheel drive on. Just so we have everything we need. We're going to go into low gear because I don't want to go too fast by accident. Well, I think we're just going to turn hard into it. Oh, I'm going to be stuck. Fifth lock. Am I floating in the air? No. Okay, that wasn't bad. That was easy. Just kind of take this one easy. Don't want to be messing this one up. Now. Oh, there. Oh, my trailer's blocking that way. So I guess I'm not going that way. Uh. How do you get down properly? Go here. Looks like you go with this to the right and then down yeah I'm gonna go to the right and then you should go straight through and around yeah okay I see it you kind of do circles it looks like as long as I'm seeing that correctly it doesn't look too bad now, this part coming right up here though this gets very tippy like here. Oh, see, I'm not even. OK, 
Okay, so I had to hold my breath there a little bit. Sometimes you do not want to stop. You want to keep rolling through. I have a habit of stopping a little bit too much. So yeah, I'm not going to conserve my fuel, so we'll just keep the all-wheel drive going. Try to make sure this goes as smooth as possible. I just stay in the low gear. Just sort of helps regulate the speed. And allows me to pop in a diff lock right away. Look at the suspension handle those rocks. Oh, I got paid attention to what I'm doing. That damage. Oh, look how tight that is. Alright, so I'm going to pause just for a second here. And see... Uh, it's hard to see. Yeah, you just keep going around, right? And that'll come down to that file. Okay. Not much of a choice anyway, since I have that all blocked out of that trailer. We'll do a lap around. And we're going to diff lock this one. Nope. Keep on keeping on here. Looks like we want to go a bit to the right. That gets tipsy. Here's this looks like rocks are gonna damage you. That's okay though. I'm definitely glad I did raise the Western Star. This truck seems like it almost completely benefits from being raised. Unlike the purple fleet star I have, which likes to roll over more when it's raised and bounces around like crazy. I like the suspension on the truck there. Those wheels just absorb all of the bumps of the rocks. Okay, so this is uh, a little bit of a tricky part doing this turn. We'll just go as wide as possible. We'll go just normal low. And diff lock, because I'm getting kind of hung up on things. There's a big rock right there. Alright, so we're going to go wide. That was scary. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Hey, that wasn't too bad, though. Except right at the end, I almost lost it. So where's the unload? Right here? Cargo management? Unload. Hey, okay. Well, that wasn't so bad. Oh, wait. Now I, yeah, now I gotta get this trailer. Right. I can't recover, right? Because you, you have to drive this out of here now. And then I also uh, can't pull that other one out, right? Because my plan, what was my plan? I don't know. Let's go look at it for a second. Get into some trouble. We don't want to leave this expensive log thing here, so. Kind of forgot about that part. Fair enough game, though. Fair enough. What am I going to do about this trailer? You just wait there for a second. Hmm. We're gonna find ourselves a mischief here. Can the I don't think the winch can reach this far, right? Not quite. Can I just uh 
Would a great big pull in this direction. Grab onto that. I don't really care if I flip it or anything. Yeah, that should be okay there. Hmm. Do I try and do one at a time? So how do I get this guy out of here? Straight across that way? I think I have an idea. I think I do. Damage from the diff log being on. <clears throat> Can I hitch with uh, this log thing on the back? I imagine it's alright. Okay. I'm just thinking. Just thinking. Okay, let's see what we can do just with this for now. Why not reverse? Can this go out this way? Can I pull this straight through? Sort of? Maybe? So is that a better angle there? Get stuck? Okay, good. Perfect. Alright, so now I do have to pay attention to my fuel. Now I'm gonna have to go back and get the other one. Uh, let's see here. I guess there's no quick way out. Nah, we'll just have to do a couple trips, I guess. I'm not taking this trailer all the way back. I just want to get out of the quarry. But that wasn't so bad. I know I went up here before. Do that. Do a ridiculous climb. There we are. Awesome. Whoop, don't slide over that way. So, yeah, I was wondering if I was ever going to get this trailer out of there. But now I know I can. And we'll get it right out of here, and then we'll go flying back in. Then we'll have to take a trip all the way back, so... Yeah, I don't really know how exciting the videos are these days. I can always pause and skip ahead, but... Uh, I don't know, it's just kind of what the game is. Let me get out of here. But if I pause and skip ahead, then, well, there's only about five minutes of interesting stuff happening. So here's, here's the five minute video. All right, here's this. Detach. Good. We got fuel. We're going to reset to not that. There we go. 
We're gonna leave it there for now. And go back and get our, uh, oops. We'll get our log trailer. And then I have more of a plan. Always making plans. But this truck uh, so far has done very well with the quarry. And so has the driver. There we go. So what's the quickest way down if I'm just cruising like this? I'll probably still to the right. And then just do that harder or sharper turn. Later on here. We'll take this one wide again. Kind of like a NASCAR turn. So keeping out all wheel drive, just trying to conserve what I can for fuel. Because it is going to start getting pretty close. As long as I get them out of the quarry, it's easy enough to send a truck to help bring some fuel. There you go, thread the needle again. Yeah, and then you either just keep driving straight around or you can just turn in. We could try we can try just turning in. That worked. And use the Use the hill slope. Whoop. I will drive it. Whoa. Whoa. Any other truck I would have rolled. But not the white western star. I, uh... I don't think I've rolled this truck yet. It's servery... Er, servery... <laughs> That was blending, uh, serve and memory. <laughs> if memory serves me, uh, well, I don't think I have rolled this truck yet. This is a stable vehicle. Big wide base, excellent tires on it. Attach on. And, uh, so kind of the same way out, I assume? So just a uh, low plus diff lock. Just kind of crank it out over these rocks again. Because I don't think I could... It's turning left there. It's troublesome with the trailer. Oh. Uh-oh. There we are. We don't need diff lock on again. And I can probably go back into automatic, I think. Or high gear. There we go. Have some more speed this time. We can do the same trick. Go up that little spot. I'm not sure if you're supposed to be able to get up there. But it works. Bit of a shortcut. As long as it can grab all the wheels on there, it seems to just pull itself right up. Good. On the right. All right, and we got enough fuel to make it back, I think, or at least to a fuel. We 
be no problem climbing this in high gear with all-wheel drive. I would think. Good. Go wide. And what we're gonna do... I'm gonna try and do something fancy. See if this works. Gotta keep it interesting, you know. Does the back of the log trailer have a winch point? It does. Okay. Come on, trailer. You're coming... Wait, you're stuck. You're coming with me. As close as you can get. No, no, not don't release it. Wrong button. Uh, there. 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 Okay. I will drive off. Now we have a train. I kind of wish you could keep winching. Like you can put like another trailer around the back of that one. Take tons of things in one go. Yeah, it's got no brakes though. No <laughs> trailer, so. You know. Oh, this could be tricky, the, uh, the bridge here, but we don't have to go far, because this is a trailer store. Right? Yeah, I had forgotten. Well, I didn't know the tip yet, that people just buy fuel trailers at the trailer stores and use them as fueling stations, because I was doing this map, not doing that trick. I guess it's not really a trick, but I didn't really think of that. Look at that. Oh, ouch. Oh, wait, now I can just sell all trailers, right? And then, yeah, and just teleport around. Okay. That'll work. Come on in, guys. Gotta get my money back. Oh, and the darn music. Hopefully it doesn't catch and I can get this all sold in time. A release, trailer store. So if you do hear like some bumps in the audio, it is because, oh, here, I'll just pause it. But yeah, some of those little radio station songs that play in the background are copyrighted, so yeah, give me some trouble. Uh, so basically I just uh, sold the trailers and recovered it back to Blackwater Garage. Or Black River. Black River Garage. Uh, and then it's going to be a little deja vu because I'm just going to have to get another trailer drive back up there for logs. And the next video is going to basically be the same. <laughs> I don't know. So maybe, maybe I'll skip some of it. Uh, I might as well skip some of it, I guess. I don't know. You guys have to let me know if you want me to keep all this in. Uh, like all the driving. If you want, I can skip more. It's just the videos would be shorter. But maybe be more action. Oh, there isn't really action in the game. Uh, my kind of game, though. Uh, here, let's check out the truck store. People uh, keep telling me stuff about that quarry. They're like, "We we got the trailer out with this truck." I'm like, well, no, I want I want I want to see you get that trailer with the with the two containers on out of it with the the purple fleet star I've got there. <laughs> yeah, or the white western star or whatnot. Uh, so what do we have here? What's this? I don't know. This off-road civilian. 75000 I don't have any money for these things. The Caterpillar. Uh, heavy duty. Okay, that looks kind of cool. Well, I don't need any more of those. I don't need a Kodiak. I got one of those. We saved one of these. Oh, we sell it for money, I guess. Well, yeah, and there's my uh, crane truck. Oh, and the 2070. 30,000, eh? We, we have all these trucks. Except for this one. And this one. Is there a description? Like, what's this do? Let's preview. Oh. Well, that looks actually decent. And then you can check out all that stuff. Okay, I already got all the cool things for it. Active. What's active? 
Active suspension kit allows for manual control over the road clearance for optimal performance. Huh. Okay. Probably too advanced for me. All the tires we know and love. Look at those suckers. Man, it's not getting stuck in anything with those on there. Locked. Install. Okay, you've got to raise it, I guess. Okay. Wait, was there anything else cool down there? Okay, now I'm just shopping. And then everybody's going to tell me which truck to buy. <laughs> I can't afford any. Well, I don't have to sell and all that, right? Okay, standard stuff there. Spare wheel. Snorkels. Okay. And then this is just the standard stuff. Oh, no, it doesn't get... Oh, you don't get much at all. Okay, so it's a saddle truck in, in trailers. You don't get the flatbed, eh? Okay. Good to know, though. And then who's this guy? This is a lot of money. They're not rated that much different. CT680. It just is heavy duty. Can't raise it. Same kind of tires so as everybody? Yeah, that's gonna be the gonna be the number twos. These guys. This is kinda like uh what I already have. Devlock bear frame add ons. Okay. Yeah, this is so what do you get this truck for? Let me know on that one. The CT680, because this looks like, just like, uh, the 4070 there, the Fleet Star. Looks very similar anyways. Just from looking on the add-ons and the shape of it and everything. And the tire selection. Looks very Fleet Star-ish. Okay. So, we have all these. This is a scout vehicle. Uh, be fun to play with, but not for almost forty thousand. The Paystar fifty seventy off road preview. Okay, I'm not gonna go through all of them. That's cool. Okay, there's the good old Scout eight hundred that rolls over all the time. Oh, is this the one I have? Which, which is the one I have? 47, is it this one or this one? Oh no, it's this one I have. Okay, so what's, why would you get this one? I don't know why you get highway trucks. Uh, and there's the P12. And we have a P16. Look how much money that guy is. Oh, there's our Western Star. Ooh. The, oh, there's a twin steer. Okay, yep. Yeah, I can see why people sell that one. Get all the money and buy something else. And then this is unlocked in other areas. Oh, this is a this one's behind a, a level. Freightliner. Another freightliner. Not in North America. So is these all the DLC trucks? Does it go on forever, does it? A lot of a lot of vehicles. Ooh. That looks cool. Oh DLC. Oh I see. I didn't even notice the big purple DLC thing in the in the thumb. What? A beetle. Okay, yeah, this just goes on forever, does it? <laughs> <laughs> collect them all. It's nowhere on our Pokemon game. Okay, when does it end? Oh, there it goes. Oh, these are. This is from the original game. Ah, you kind of want to get that just because of the original game. Okay. Uh, so that's all I had to do there. Could be ending the video instead of me just dropping. Uh, so yeah, that's mean. I don't really know if you guys want to just see the same stuff because the game is an awful lot of going over the same 
the same things that I just did. Log trailer. So how much money do I have? How do I check? This button? Alright, how much was that? I don't know, whatever. I seem to be losing money though. But I should have more because I just sold the trailer. Oh wait, I grabbed the wrong thing. I heard you guys. Don't worry, I heard you through the video. I heard you. Your shouts do not go unheard. Gotcha. I noticed. Because of all the shouts. I just grabbed the first thing that said log on it. So, it's 14,000. This one. Which is also 14,000. I thought I should have more money than that, though. Oh well. There we go. Yeah, so we're gonna have a bit of a uh, deja vu. Since I don't know what the verdict is, we'll just have a little bit more of a chat while I drive here. But I should actually probably end the video and just, you know, start the next one halfway there or something. <laughs> don't know. Uh, how do I get there again? I think we went through here. And then, yeah, I remember driving through here saying I always got stuck there. But not anymore. Not anymore. So, yeah, I guess, I guess I won't torture you guys through this. We'll probably... Yeah, in the video, and what I'll do is I'll just kind of keep cruising and uh, pick up the logs, find a nice little parking spot, and then the next video it might resume right where I was, or maybe I'll, I'll, I'll already be at Smithville Dam or something. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, this is uh, it is definitely a repeat of what I just did. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll I think we'll turn it off here now. Oh, look, see, I started at the fuel station. Well, I guess the video didn't start here. I started the game and then the video started just after the fuel station down that road a little bit. Uh, but yeah. I think we'll turn it off here. I don't imagine I'll run into any kind of exciting issues or anything like that. So you won't be missing anything. So we'll shut it off for now. Uh, thanks uh, very much for watching everybody. And see you next time. We'll do uh, we'll somehow figure out how to deliver the long logs to the drilling site. So, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. See you next time.